Hello everyone, so I'm back with a sort of video tutorial. Um, I'm going to talk about <clears throat> what type of hair that I use for rerouting and how to treat that hair. So here I have with me some, this is actually Kinecolon weave hair or braiding hair from the wig shop. It's pretty long, as you can see very very long hair and you can see it has this texture in it now the brand that I actually use is called expressions so here's the um, backing to it it is deep violet the color deep violet expression 100% connect on fiber this is actually the other Part of it I cut it in half so basically that right there is put through this and it's basically a loop so the other side that I just showed you I have a scrunchie like in the middle so I put it in the middle right there I'm gonna boil wash it at that length <clears throat> but it's actually two like if you cut it in half you get two of them that's this long so it's quite a lot of hair so yeah, that's the, this is the hair that I use and that's the baggie it comes in. So yeah, you get, and this, this hair, I paid like almost $5 for it for hair that can root like five or six Barbie heads, depending on how thick or thin you go as far as the hair, as far as you root the hair. But yeah, so I figured... I would show you how that is done, how I prepare it. Okay, so the first step is, I mean, it's, unless you want to root the hair in like this, it makes it a lot harder to try to root the hair in while it's like this and this with this texture. But I mean, if that was comfortable for you, you could definitely do that and boil wash it later. Or if you actually wanted to keep this texture in the hair, then you could, but I like the hair to be straight, so. That is what I'm going to do. So I've already wet the hair down. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to use some of my conditioner. And I'm going to put a bunch of it in the hair. So I'm to figure out if I can set the camera up at an angle. So... about this much conditioner you can pretty much use any kind you just get it all over the hair and now what I'm going to do I've actually heated up some water on the stove because it's a much bigger and if you were boil washing like like if you were to cut this in half again, then you would have hair that was this long. If you can see that, there we go. Then you'd have hair that was that long, so you might not need to um, boil a pot of water on the stove. You could do it in a big bowl. The big bowl in the microwave takes a little longer to heat up. I'm just going to make sure that it gets coated. And now I'm going to take my, this is a cat brush, and they also have ones that are bigger that are dog brushes. It's basically the same exact thing, and I'm going to, I've already pre-brushed this out, and you're really going to have to hold on to this. Yes, for the longest time I was using hair that was on those headband thingies from the Dollar Tree. That hair is kind of like this, but it's very stiff. You don't get that many color options, and I just find it more of a hassle. I've actually started re-rooting -re a lot of dolls that I have rooted with that hair, starting with my childhood ones. And you basically just want to brush it until you're satisfied. 
So there's that. It's all brushed out. So here's my boil wash water and it is now bubbling. So I'm going to take my giant hank of hair and in it goes. And it's going to deflate it quite a bit. Now if you're not good at boil washing or used to it, you could potentially burn yourself, so be careful. I've been doing this a lot. And you just want to dunk it in. Just keep dunking it. And you can see now the hair, it still has a little texture in it. Some of the different, um, some of the hair with this brand is slightly different from others. So you're not going to get a complete root to tip straight because they pre-crimp this hair. So I'm actually going to be combing through this. So I will come back when I've combed through it. Okay, so I'm actually going to try to film me um, doing the process. And you want to make sure that you trim any ratty ends off because they're going to be there. And when I said comb, I meant brush. So you're going to want to brush. And it's really going to work those crimpies out of the hair. And see, this is why help the conditioner helps because Kaneko on hair becomes kind of rough when you boil wash it. It just makes it a lot easier. And then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing. So that looks like as straight as it is going to get. So I'm going to go rinse it in some cold water. And so now you'll notice that you actually have this, which is actually still crimped and not deflated. So what I'm going to do is move the scrunchie that it came, it actually comes with the scrunchie at the bottom. So it's, it actually comes in very useful. So I'm actually going to dunk this part in the water and kind of do this sort of motion to work out all those crimps that are in the hair. Usually with Kaneko on hair, it will instantly deflate once it comes in contact with really hot water. So I will go rinse that in cold water. And now it should look something like this. So you can see that now that hair is deflated. Of course you'll have to add re-add conditioner to it because if you can hear that it's a little bit um, coarse now. That's what the uh, boil wash can do to the hair or usually does do to the hair. So yeah. So yeah, I've put reapplied the conditioner to it. I pretty much added the same amount. I'm just going to be brushing through it once again go from the bottom but as you can see the hair is quite deflated now
I'm kind of us using my arm as a flat surface to try to get all the um, tangles out. Now note, I'm not going to use this length of hair to root a doll. I mean, you could. I just don't want the hair to be that long. And as you can see from that one half that I cut in half and folded, or that I cut away from the half and folded in half with the scrunchie, you get quite a lot of hair. Especially if you're going to cut it in half again. You just get so much hair. And I'll actually show off a doll that I got done rerooting with this type of hair. And I got this hair at a wig shop. Um, the store I go to is here in Carrollton. And it's called Sassy Beauty Supply. So yeah, if you're in the Carrollton, Texas area, then um, definitely go pick up some of this hair. It was very nice quality. So as you're brushing the hair out, you might get a few little ratty ends that come out. You just trim those off. So now we'll do a jump cut and show you the um, comparison between the hair. So here's the comparison between the hair. So you can see just exactly how much the hair deflated from the boil wash. And this is going to make it very easy to use. But like I said, if you want this texture in the hair and you can find a way to use the hair like this, then more power to you. This is just my personal preference of making the hair go pin straight with the boil wash. But yeah, so now I'll show you a doll that I actually rerooted with this hair. So here's actually two dolls I have rerooted completely. And I have a bunch more of them that I've rooted with this hair. So there's my beautiful Chrissy doll with her new hair. Her face is kind of going white because of the, the white or the um, exposure. So yeah, that is her hair. And it is very nice. Very nice quality hair. Especially if you're rooting bigger dolls, it definitely works wonders for bigger dolls and then here is what it did with a barbie so look at this look how it moves it is so shiny and after you're done boil washing it and rooting it in it is just hair flips for days so yeah this was if you didn't see my last video <clears throat> And this was actually a childhood Barbie that I re-rerooted, and I actually went through the process of taking out her hair on camera. Kind of a little story time. So if you didn't see that video, go check it out, because you can definitely tell how horrible quality the Dollar Tree hair is compared to this. I mean, it's just like, wow. Now the hair, after you're done rooting it in, doesn't look this perfect. I had actually had to go in and trim it. Same with Chrissy. I had to trim her hair too. So it's not going to look this perfect at the ends after you're done rooting it. But it's just super, super nice. Super, super nice and bouncy and shiny and just gorgeous. Pin straight root to tip look. And if you wanted it, 
uh, um, afterward you could braid the doll's hair and leave it for a day and then you could take the braid out and it would be wavy. Very nice, very nice hair. So anyhow, thank you guys for watching my little tutorial on how to prepare the Expressions Weave Braiding Hair for Rooting Barbies. This is actually the doll that is going to receive the hair that I am going to root into her head. So that, you can see that that's what it's going to look like. She's going to have this beautiful ultraviolet hair. It's, wow, it's, it's not ultraviolet, it's called deep violet, but still, it's like ultraviolet hair. It's really awesome. So, and now that it's boil washed, it's now ready to use. So anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Thank you, God, thank you everyone for watching. More videos to come, and remember to stay true to you.